here we are. Welcome to our show called The Fish and Corn Show. You know, Corn, we haven't given thanks to, <laughs> we haven't given thanks to. Uh, to sponsors lately. Oh, fuck those <laughs> Well, just name them. They are Pain and Pain, uh, Skate, Skate Rag, Mag. Skate Mag. <laughs> What's up with those folks? I think it's like a, one of those things you get and then eventually you're hitting cockroaches <laughs> by the kitty little box that hasn't been changed in like four four weeks, you know? It's one of those kind of magazines. You see, we read this shit. It's right there below the, uh, the magazine uh, about local apartments. Yes. And just maybe, you know, you get some, like, uh, biker porn, you know, the skater types. Biker porn. OB, you know what I'm talking about? You know who we're talking about? Speaking of biker porn, were you ever into biker porn? <laughs> some of was very interesting. I mean, I like motorcycles. As, as you know, the corn likes, I mean, the fish likes a lot of things. And back, I still like Harleys, but I've got to a point where I think the noise is redundant. The only thing on the road I think that should be loud and even they should be quiet are those supercars. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? I don't believe in loudness. I don't believe in loudness. I, even motorcycles, they can get a little loud. I know it represents to you guys out there this certain... But you can get fast just as... Quiet. You know, quietly. You don't need to... You know, know what you're talking about. You guys need to like, wear, you know, the tight jeans and wearing kind of guys. <laughs> Need for speed, need to sound that way. No, I mean, I understand the need for speed. That's a completely different story. But you, I don't, need need, you don't need to be all jazz handsy about it. You know, the, no, yeah. I hate the noise. You know, the, there's a certain ethic to it, I guess, that you know, I appreciate the quiet. Uh, no, I, back to biker porn. Have you ever been to, into biker porn? And what was your preference? Because of the the fact that we had someone in the neighborhood whose uncle uh -huh. uh, had a collection and they included, mm -hmm. you know, if you, you know, you're into porn, you're into porn, yeah. I guess, and if you, so especially in that, about availability, and so that's what you cut your teeth on, and you, you saw, uh -huh. along with the swank, along with the club international, that was one, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, wasn't that the, one of the greatest places was uh, like Walden Books at the Plaza Benito Mall and the local liquor store <laughs> as far as reading material <laughs> you know what I mean because it's like behind those like cardboard yeah did you ever wonder behind, what's behind the the brown cardboard I always look so it doesn't matter so look. even as the as a even as a little kid I would go what's this uh, I, I liquor store guys tell you you can't look at that mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> No, but a lot of this <laughs> crazy shit, dude. The biker one, like, uh, what is... They have a lot of topless, because I guess it's all right, in, like, some of those iron horse mags. Well, I think what it has to do with is the, the prison aesthetic, really. Because uh, a lot of it is simply that. It's, it's blue-collar prison aesthetic yeah, porn. Instead of, you know, the... Fantasy girl done up and yeah, the nice yeah, expensive, up. expensive looking yeah. one. It's that's all that is. We're just selling the other fantasy. But uh, yeah, Easy Rider. That's the one. Easy Rider had yeah. the top list. Yeah, we're the one with so much spread eagle, spread eagle, and like Daisy Dukes. Do you remember that? Yeah. I've been in rooms like that because I was like I told you, you know, because people like the uncle would have it like you know, he's like the older guy, the uncle of said friend, you know, and we're at the age where we're in like uh, eighth grade age, yeah. and the uncle's probably in the twenties, you know, yeah. just getting off on it, all this biker shit or porn in general. Uh -huh. So you know, pull up the centerfold and put it all over your room, <laughs> all over your room, and you're like. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I walked into a kitty bar. <laughs> hey, let me ask you a question. You have boys. Would you be all right with your son at like 15? No. Putting up all the no. Playboy no. and the uh, swimwear, no. the laundry. <laughs> Look, if you are with did this, I said uncle, it was like that. Well, that's the thing, but you, it's really about the aesthetic and the. Thing that you're trying to 
project in the way that they comport yourself. Okay? How you decorate your room communicates to the world a lot of things. Do you really want to communicate to the world an overarching obsession with so, beautiful women? women? We're talking about in the, the formal years, right? We're talking yeah, yeah, for yeah, like yeah. adolescence. Yeah, yeah. Um, or like no, your hobby, sir. The point is, the point is this. You're trying to teach your kids how to comport themselves down the line. Were you, would you allow it though if they wanted to? Oh, if that's what they want to do, knock yourself out. I'm going to tell them that it's wrong and why it's wrong. But ultimately, the color You had friends like that that had like a little bit of like, you know, like Playboy centerfold. Yeah, because they yeah, come with every yeah, month. Yeah, no. They Dude, put them I, all up. I put up, uh, uh, what do you call it, Sports Illustrated calendars. Yes. I mean, that's the thing. It's. That whole realm. Yeah, I, I've beautiful. I guess you're right. Beautiful. I mean, it's not so bad because it's photography. All it is is masturbatory fantasy, spank bang stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and people are uncomfortable acknowledging that. Okay. Yeah, crazy. But anyways, six seventeen on the meter here. You look, yeah, late, the uh, oh, go ahead, porn. Oh, go ahead, no, porn. So no, right here. Oh yeah, the foot coming in? No. The foot. Charlie's mm. just uh, curious as to what you're smoking today. Oh! Oh, you got a little pot there? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta check the fucking... <laughs> Get a physical. <laughs> Throw money at him. Yeah. <laughs> Get a physical. What's the... Um, what's that movie out of that? The, the cannonball. Cannonball run. <laughs> Get a physical. Do you remember during that Dude. drum Talk about a cryptically racist joke, but cruelly accurate. <laughs> I know, that yeah, because you hear about it on the news all the time. Yeah. You see it, man. They have, they have a lot of money, right? From that area, especially if you have money. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Oh, man. So... <sighs> it's a, it's a, what's it? Today is the June twenty first. The fish just got back from a trip, went through Malibu. I got some pictures there. I'm gonna sh probably post. So I mean, a video clip. Oh, uh, we're gonna talk about Colin first. Ooh, that's right. So we're gonna go pick up a Colin for later today. Corn is going to Las Vegas via rental car. And we were talking about how sometimes, because you've been renting cars all the time, you come up on some... Sometimes you get, the, you, you luck into a car. Yeah. Like this last car I had in Alabama, I mean Georgia, was normal, I think it was a Chevy, if I'm not mistaken, uh -huh. it was a Chevy something. What I like to rent, it seems, and they're really nice, are those Camrys. You know, a very common, and you know what to predict. Nissans are terrible. Yeah. Overly sensitive brake and very, very too tight for cruising uh, uh, steering. Mm. Oh, it's horrible. Well, over the last month, two months, I think we've rented three cars. And of the three, my favorite has been the Lincoln. Uh, it's, it's a SKS? nice... SKS? MK something. MK something? Yeah, it's a very nice sedan. I think I might have had one of those. Uh, okay. It has a nice integration with my phone, with my technology. Uh, Bluetooth, right? Bluetooth mm -hmm. enabled, the whole bit. Uh, I was able to use my Google Maps on it. It had its own navigation system. Make calls. Make calls without having to hassle with my shit. You know, it was very convenient. The only, my only complaint was it was a front wheel drive car. Most of them are. It's just kind of a At a certain you know. price. And, you know, it, it had a lot of pep and go, but what's the point in a small, car, a small front wheel drive kind of setup? I had a Dodge Challenger like two times ago in San Francisco. I looked like total. It's like race show through the streets of that San Francisco. I had one of those in San Francisco. Uh -huh. And it was pretty peppy. That, I forget, was that rear wheel? Is that are those Dodgers yes. rear wheel? At that, that sure. model? Yeah. Well, so I had a um, couple of nice cars. I was telling Corn. I had the high end 660 or whatever number uh, Volvo. Yeah. I had the avoidance system. 
So if you actually theoretically let off on the uh, fall asleep at the wheel, they'll actually avoid and brake for you. And I guess we did a test drive in, um, I didn't test that car out, but with the dealership, we went on a run and uh, when we were looking for cars, the fish woman, and the fish woman. we tried out the Subaru. Uh -huh. And they tried that, they showed how it would have that avoidance, that uh, self-breaking. Yeah.